YouTube, this is Killer Cheese here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add face cam into your videos. And yeah, this is a this is actually my own this is actually how I do face cam. I do it just like what I'm about to show you. And yeah, this is how I do it in my personal videos, in my gaming videos, in my reaction videos, try not to laugh videos. Everything that I you see a uh, face cam for, or some people call it my face in a little box, uh, not taking up the whole screen. That is what I'm going to be showing you today. And disclaimer right here, it is free. 100% free, free editor software. It's legit. It doesn't give you a virus, or it shouldn't. And I use it. I I spent no money for it. It's a free editor. It's great. It can do a lot of things. This is one out of two of my editors that I use. And um, the other one is called HitFilm Express Pro. I mean, no, HitFilm Express 4. Um, HitFilm 4 Express. There. Or something like that. And that is mainly I use for special effects. All the... Uh, advanced stuff but this is my go-to editor for simple gaming videos vlogs anything like that unless it requires like special effects or whatever I actually do use this for green screen as well it, it's really great it's called BSDC editor and I am going to be showing you guys how to use it just like I do like the face cam that you're seeing right now with this gameplay I just borrowed this gameplay nope um, in the description, I just went on to YouTube, and in his description, he said you can use this for your own, for your own videos, just, uh, give credit. So right now, um, well, after this video, you know what, just link to the actual gameplay, it's like an hour long, in the description, and the channel, and yeah, just... I don't know if you want to watch COD gameplay for like an hour, but just give them credit. So anyways guys, let's get into VSDC. It is 100% free. Download link in the description. And let's go. Okay guys, so right away, once you get into the editor, all you gotta do is click blank project. Name it, I'm just gonna name it, um, facecam tutorial one because I will have to edit this again to put in this face cam that you see right now that I'm editing this on yeah my life's confusing so from there guys all you need to do is click add object in the top left click video since you're adding a video and then go find the file so I just named it card gameplay because it's card gameplay simple as that and oops I have the wrong file sorry about that um, what I meant to do is find the right file, if I can. Come on, P. Uh, me. So, here's, here's the right file. Here we go. Uh, come on. If this dumb thing would load. So, while this is loading, make sure you... What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. This, I have the link to this gameplay the description. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning of the video. Um, but anyways, so guys, now you have your gameplay up. That's good. And basically, once you have it up, just make don't move this little cursor at the bottom, you see? Keep it right at the beginning. And then go back to add object, go back to video, and then go for your face cam file that you recorded separately. Because I record them separately. A lot of you don't know that. But I, I, I do record it separately. See? Now you can see my ugly face cam. <laughs> so, the thing is, if you look in the timeline, the gameplay is a lot, lot, lot longer than, uh, than the actual face cam. So, what I do is I click this button... Uh, it says move course cursor to block ending. Click that as I'm tapped on the face cam. And then go to the end of the gameplay. Drag it all the way back. Now I am using gameplay. It's not my own gaming. So this, so for the actual game I would have counted up the time and recorded it at the same moment. 
But right here, I just recorded it separate. So anyways, from there, guys, you want to click on your face cam video. And then, as you can see, look, you have Hello, both files YouTube, overlapping. This is killer but look, you don't see the gameplay. That is because this is not shrunken. So look, if you have this in the front, you can just go click this green arrow to front. And then you can shrink it. See this little squ square? Grab it and drag it all the way to your liking. You could have your face cam this big. You could have your face cam this big. You could have your face cam here, there, everywhere. The decision is up to you. I I would like I always I usually keep my face cam in the top right. So I'll just put that there. And then I'll just bring it back a little bit. Link to download is in the description. And here we go. So now that we have that, you can be done. Just right here. Just flat out done. If you click preview, it shows you what you will be exporting and then posting onto YouTube. So look. Hello YouTube, this is Killer Cheese here. And this today is nuts. I'm going to I like be that face cam, showing you guys how to add face cam the thing into is, your videos. And I, yeah, in my videos, what I usually do is something a little fancy. So if you can see this little rectangle on the left, or you could go to add object and then click rectangle. Go either if your cursor is right at the beginning, like mine is, then from the timeline, then you could just click from cursor position, or you could do whole parent duration. So mine's there. And then see this? It gives you a little plus. This is where you are making the rectangle. So what I do is a little outline a bit more. Beer. Okay, so there we go. Now we have it. Let's go to brush color, make it yellow. And then look, creep. Hello, YouTube. You this don't is see my face. Cheese here. That is because this is in front of that. So if you go to the timeline, click on the face cam video, click bring to front, then boom, now you have it. And then from there, you can just adjust the um, size of the outline. Now, this is something fancy. You don't need it, but all you really need to do is get the face cam and the gameplay lined up and just shrink the face cam right in front of it and then guys look hello YouTube this, this is killer cheese here nice and today nice I'm face going cam to be showing with you guys how to add face cam into your game gameplay videos. in the background and I show yeah you how to this is it, but let's just skip it, through here it's really great it's called into VSDC it is 100% free and, and then the end. And let's good so guys, that is how you add face cam into your videos. Once you have that though, you'll be like, oh, how do I post this to YouTube? Well, if you click tools, it has a YouTube uploader. Don't use it. It's terrible. Or I haven't really tried it, but I never use those. So what you want to do, um, I guess you can use that or whatever. But what you want to do is click export project at the top. Make sure right here it's mpg to mpg it's originally on to avi which then you can't post on youtube so to mpg check all the what's it called video properties if you want audio properties i don't really get into that stuff and then yeah you can change the uh directed point to it so i just put in this file uh you can change the name quality everything just basic thing Find the file that you want and make sure the top is clicked. See if it's if it's blue highlighted video track one, then it will just it will only export the video part but no audio. Audio track one, vice versa. Audio but no video. So you want to click the title and then boom. Then all you gotta do is click export project if you don't have the pro version, which I don't, for this at least. Um, then just click at the bottom. It'll say, oh, to blah, 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 upgrade, blah, 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 export. No. Just go to the bottom. Click continue. Starts exporting. You'll see it in the file. Then you can post it to YouTube. So, guys, I really hope that this video was helpful to you guys. And if it was, make sure you go smash that like button and... Hit that subscribe button. 
go watch my other videos. Go watch some of my gaming videos as well. You will see this is the same result as my normal um, gaming videos that I have face cam in. I have that l nice little yellow outline. You could actually make it any color you want. Have it small in a corner, and then I just have the game playing. Uh, so go uh, link to the gameplay and the channel is all in the description. Link to actually download VSDC Editor, which is what I use, in the description. Um, make sure you guys also tell me what else you want me to either do tutorials on or games you want me to play or whatever. Uh, because I will be taking your video ideas. This was actually a really, really common video idea. How do you do your face cam? How do you do the box in your videos or whatever? And yeah, I guess with that being said, that's all really. Goodbye. <laughs>